this is James here with First Updates Now. I am here with the South Florida Regional Finalists, Team 180 Spam. They're going to be going over some of their great robot designs, including a very unique articulated arm and how they're tracking April tags. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotic students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. All right, introducing first, we're going to talk with Steven about how they're going to be, how they handle their April tags. Steven, tell us about that. Hello, this is Steven with Spam Robotics, and we use April tags to line up our robot on the field. We use this April tag system to track where our robot is and how we can line up and score easily. You guys are using a single camera setup as opposed to a dual camera setup. Do you have a particular reason why you went with that, or is, there, is it just the ease of programming that you decided on that? We went with one camera just in the front, so it's easier to note where we line up at. Uh, all right, next up we're going to talk with Melanie. She's going to go over their drivetrain and their very unique arm mechanism. So we have a field switching fork drive and um, we also implemented this notch in our um, frame because it would it allow us to cut off um, some length we needed for the extension. Um, it's also, it makes it a lot easier when we're scoring because then we don't have to like really like get situated we just like go ram up on it and then score it and then as for our arm we have three joints we have a shoulder elbow and wrist joint um there's a linear extension on the shoulder and it allows us to reach farther when we want to do the high or if we're going to be scoring um with the double human player station um so if marissa would like to show us all right so our like stow position to, to acquire from the single human player station what we do is we go up this turns over this goes up a little bit and that allows us to get both a cube and cone and then when we're at the double human player station from the shelf we go up more out a little bit and just like that and it allows us to just like because it's right over our bumper and it allows us to like very simply just like ram, ram up to the wall and just grab it um, that's what we've, we've been doing um, during our playoff matches, and it's it improved our cycle time by about like two or three cycles overall, because lining up at the single is quite difficult um, because it's off to the side, and we don't really have the April tag working for that yet. All right, so you guys went with the off center of the arm as opposed to centering it. Was there a reason for that, or did you just stay, or did, is it just to fit everything into the design you wanted? So we actually put our uh, center of gravity off to the right because it allows us to drive off the side of the charge station if we need to. Um, it also um, allows us to like very simply push other teams up because then our center of gravity is more center on the charge station. And that's what we were doing in playoffs and it proved to be very easy with it that way. And Although it may seem like um, driving may be affected by it, um, we found out that it's really not. Thank you guys so much. This is James with First Updates Now. Thank you, Steven, Marissa, and Melanie. And we look forward to seeing you guys compete in Orlando. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotic students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash FIRST updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. 
keep the conversation going, and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now, and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.